Oh yeah, think not I came to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. Mm -hmm. For I am come to set a man against his father and the daughter against her mother and the daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. And a man's foes shall be in their own household. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me. Dang. Okay, and explain that just for the people who don't know what that scripture means. Man, because we believe, you know, God is going to bring peace. God is going to bring this tranquility. Now, don't get me wrong. God does give a he soul peace. He mm -hmm. gives a soul rest. Man, like, you know what I'm saying? From not being able to sleep at night, from crying, because the guilt of sin, you know what I'm saying? God, um, Jesus Christ, he gives He gives, um, gives a soul peace from that. But at, but at the same time, um, he still gives you a cross. A cross to take up in the midst of giving you, you know, uh, what do you say? Um, give me, um, cast your burden upon me, um, come up on me and I'll give you rest. My burden is like, my yoke is easy. You know what I'm saying? So he gives you something is in exchange. We don't just give him our burden. He just, well, all right, mm -hmm. he gives us, you know, exchange, you know, to yeah. help us carry this cross. You know what I'm saying? Like, but yeah, man, he comes not to bring peace, but division. And the reason why. And I know nowadays we value division. I mean, we um value the so-called unity we mm -hmm. got. But look at the unity that we are calling unity nowadays. Look at it. And, you know. And is it like, is, is it, it that godly unity? Is it really unity that we got? Mm -hmm. If we are scared to address things because of conflict, that may come out of that. Is that really unity? Mm, you know what I'm saying? Right. Like, I never thought of that like that. Like, yeah. like the state of the body, man, we too scared to address things nowadays. So mm -hmm. now, you know, instead of addressing things that like may- you know something is wrong, but you don't want to address it because you don't want to cause any type of animosity or uh, cause any tension or anything like that in between you and that other individual so you just kind of like you know just so you it avoid it and okay. ignore it but is that the way of christ you know what i'm saying like christ didn't care who it was it, look he, he even said it like if you're you know like if you're not my uh my no my mother and brothers and sisters are the ones that do the will the will of my my father you know what i mean he didn't care he addressed them just like that Travis said the real Jesus promotes transformation and today's Jesus promotes stagnation. 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 He said transformation versus promoting stagnation. Mercy, mercy, mercy. Because mm. that's exactly what's happening. A whole lot of stagnation. Mm. Man, mm. I, I should call Tonyo in, man. Like, I want to hear uh, I want to hear it, Tony, oh, man. The righteous sitter. <laughs> mm -hmm. But come on, y'all. We got to do something about this, man. Because if you really ain't doing nothing about if you ain't really doing nothing about it, are you really, you know, do you really believe? Do you? How can you, how can Noah say he believed in God and, you know, he would have, you know, and not built that, you know, not built that ark? You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Do you really believe? How do you know? My mother called him now. It's that faith. <laughs> I am calling you, man. I'm calling you. But what we how do we hello? What's up? Yeah, what up, man? Who that? Had to call up on you, man. See what you think, man. What up, guys? How you living? Man, we live it, man. We trying to, <laughs> we trying to, you know, like. Well, are y'all still alive? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, they can like hear me right now? Yeah, they can. Here, you got to put it like close. Oh, for real? Yeah. Uh, oh, uh, well, since y'all called and all, miss you guys. Miss you know y'all doing a podcast today, and they did not, you know what I'm saying? It's okay. What's about that later? No. So I'm listening to the podcast, right? It's really down. dope. The topic is really dope. Okay. I'm thinking though, 
Cause we, the topic is, you know, as far as like this real Jesus versus fake Jesus, you know, Joshua versus white Jesus, however you want to say it. I think the biggest issue, the biggest difference is that the real Jesus promotes transformation. When he told Nicodemus, Nicodemus, yo, you must be born again. Mm. Today's Jesus promotes stagnation. Just show up. You're enough. Right. Just show up. Yeah. All right. Just the, the Jesus of the Bible promotes transformation. The Jesus of today promotes stagnation. Just sit on the pew. You're good. Just be a good person. Yeah. Love everyone. You don't have to transform at all. He said you don't have to transform at all. No. Nah, I know. That's why you can be a believer. The Great Commission says, go ye therefore, teaching all nations, baptizing, name Father. You can be a believer for 20 years, not baptize nobody, never give a Bible study, but be considered in good standing. Wow. And nobody's. But how is that allowed, though? Hello? You may just have to call him on the phone instead of your messenger. Signal. It's not on the phone. It's on the phone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we lost that for like 20 seconds. All right. Stagnation, boo. Type that in. Type that in again for the people in the back. <laughs> the That's the biggest difference. That's why we don't see any. That's why we don't see any power in today's churches. That's why we don't because see no power. We, that's why we don't see any power. But, um, and it's making Christianity a joke. <laughs> you gotta put it up there so people can hear. Oh wow! So that's why we ain't got no power, man. But what you saying? Uh, what you saying though? We believe though. No, I mean whoever said that all you gotta do is believe, that's trash. Like that's not a real thing. Mm -hmm. Like yo, all you gotta do is believe, and as long as you believe, like what you believe kinda doesn't matter. Faith without works is definitely dead. <laughs> Faith without works. So you is said dead. I believe, believing is a, isn't enough. In fact, if you really believe, it, it can't help but show in your works. Mm. <laughs> Well, I like that. Type that. If you really believe, it can't help but show in your works. Can't help it, bro. If you're really married, it's hard not to. If you really love your wife, mm. it's hard not to act like you love your wife. Right. Like, it just, it, it just kind of mm. comes out. Doesn't mean you do everything perfect as a husband, but that, that just comes out. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not something you can even try to do. Mm. Mm. So when you love Jesus, it just kind of. Even if the fruit is you fighting yourself every day, it mm. just kind of comes out though. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not something that you. Hmm. Yeah, I can't hear you. He said, "Y'all gotta research." He said, "Y'all gotta." He said, "Y'all gotta research the man who taught Jesus to know what the full truth is." Problem is, everybody keep focusing on Jesus. Uh, Melchizedek. Mel Tell me about him first, Genesis fourteen. I mean, I mean, Jesus spoke uh, to real. Uh, that's B way. Um, he spoke of his father. He didn't, you know, he didn't uplift, you know, Melchizedek or anything. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. like, yeah, that that compares to Melchizedek. I think was done by uh, Paul. Mm -hmm. That wasn't done by Jesus. Right. Like Jesus pointed to his father, like. This is what I'm trying to show yeah. you. Like, I'm showing you the Father in the flesh through me. Like, and. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. But, um. But we trying to clear it up, man, because, like, the state of, like, just Christianity or believing, man, I don't know what you want to call it, but it just so. It's so pressed. We claim to have power, but we promote okay. complacency. We promote it. Just do a concert. Dang, we worship. I'm a true worshiper, and you're good. You validated for that, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm we... a worshiper. I'm a wor mm -hmm. all you gotta do is entertain. You entertain on behalf of Jesus. You in there? Put that boo. Today's uh, the world. Jesus promotes being a worshiper. Now each other that he keeps saying that. What? What? Yeah, this is about church that what is he talking about? What church that have been dead by the time Christ came? So what is he talking about? Yeah, uh, B way like 
when Christ was walking around, bro, he kept all he kept, you know, talking about was was the Father, the Father, the Father, the Father. Yeah, Jesus is the high priest. He also talked about how to deal with your fellow man. All right. Something true? else that this new Jesus doesn't promote. The world. You do not have to have an effective love. You just gotta say it, and you're cool. Let me see. He said, uh, Bo, he said today's Jesus, the world's Jesus promotes, would you say not effectively loving? Yeah, Ooh. like today's Jesus, you don't have to love effectively. You just gotta say it. <laughs> people, like, people in church be like, we love each other. Meanwhile, that single mom, life about to go off, and they be like, pray for her. Mm. Today's. Like that. You ain't required. There's no accountability. You can really just do and say whatever. Put that, boo. There's no accountability. You can do and say whatever. With today, Yo, the KKK you. is a Christian organization. Nobody called them for it. <laughs> Think about that. Like, the other church don't be together and be like, no, you can't claim us. They're just like, well, you know, we all got, you know, we all got a past. It's just wild. I'm like, but dang, how do we overcome this, man? Like, Doing what y'all doing now. God bless y'all. I'm like, man. Just take a spark to get a fire going. What y'all doing to spark your stuff off, bro? Man. It's just sad. We just need to. It gotta be done, bro. Like, what what y'all doing right now is bringing everything to the surface. You can't hide. Mm. Come out here. Come reason together. Let's see what's up. (laughs) Uh, he's silly. Oh, I'm behind the pew. 